We believe that we owe the American people a balanced budget. And for the third straight year, we've delivered. In fact, we balanced this budget in just 10 years. We can't just keep spending money we don't have. That's the basic acknowledgement when you're budgeting, just like families and businesses do, that you cannot continue to kick the can down the road, that you cannot continue to spend money we just don't have. This is an invitation to the President of the United States, to the Senate Democrats, to come together to fix these problems. We don't think it's fair to let critical programs like Medicare go bankrupt. We don't think that it's fair to take more from hardworking families to spend more in Washington. The most important question isn't how we balance the budget, but why. A budget is a means to an end. An end is the well-being of the American people. An end is a growing economy that produces opportunity and upward mobility. Far too long in Washington, we measure success of our efforts by inputs. How much money are we spending on these programs? Rather than measuring success by outputs, are they working? We have put so much money into our welfare programs, into our poverty-fighting programs, yet we have 46 million people living in poverty. It's among the highest rates of poverty we've had in a generation. So rather than measure how much money are we spending in these programs, let's think about measuring are we helping people? Are we getting people out of poverty? Are we getting people back on their feet again into lives of self-sufficiency and upward mobility, of dignity?